let's talk about the four principal safety rules of firearms. First, treat all weapons as if they are loaded. That's number one. Doesn't matter if the weapon's unloaded or loaded, we're still going to practice in the same safety rules. So, number two, the muzzle rule of the weapon. Using this safety weapon, this is not a live weapon, I'm gonna demonstrate what that means. We're gonna treat your weapon, any weapon, as if it has an imaginary laser beaming from the end of the muzzle. That's where the bullet comes out. Do not laser anyone or anything you're not willing to shoot, kill, or destroy. Simple as that. So again, it's thinking ahead. There's the mind again. We have to be proactive. It's not just, where's my imaginary laser pointing now, but where's it about to go? Oops, geez, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to point my gun at you. It's too late. The rule was broken. So it has to be, hmm, I can't point my gun at my fellow uh, operators, my friends, so I depress the muzzle, now I can get the muzzle up. Depress my muzzle, I don't laser my friends with my la imaginary laser beaming from the muzzle. So that's number two. Number three, the trigger rule. The trigger of the weapon has one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to make the gun go bang. If we don't want the gun to go bang right now, we cannot have our finger on the trigger or even inside the trigger guard. We must index the finger to the frame of the weapon where even if we're startled or lose our balance or tighten our non-shooting hand, the finger won't go to the trigger and cause the weapon to fire. When can we put the finger on the trigger? Well, we must meet three criteria for the trigger rule. First of all, we must have a target. If we do not have an identified target, why would we shoot the gun? Two, the sights must be on the area of the target. If we don't have sights on the target, why would we shoot the gun? We would miss. So, sights on the target, not fine-tuned. Okay, we can fine-tune the sights at level necessary, as we're pressing the trigger at the speed necessary to keep them on target. So just on the air of the target. So for the three, three criteria, must have a target, sights on the target, and three, perception. We perceive that we must fire the weapon. Why would we perceive that? What would cause that perception? Well, in life, in the fight, it's perception of serious bodily injury or death is imminent to that of myself or another. That covers all the what ifs. Probably gonna happen this order. Hmm, holy smokes, there's a target. He's about to kill me. So I don't wanna shoot right now. I need to get my sights on. And then I put my finger to the trigger and stop the threat. Number four is immediate surroundings. We are responsible and accountable for everything around and beyond the target. We must make sure that we don't have innocent bystanders uh, in our side alignment, okay? We might have to shift position if they're behind our target because we're responsible for them beyond the target as well. So let's be safe. Let's stay in control with this thing right here, our mind, and uh, have a successful and fun training opportunity with our pistols and be safe with them at all times at home as well. Thank you.